Okay, what's up guys? It's your girl Tony back with another video. I feel like I'm whispering. Hey, what's up guys? It's your girl Tony back with another video. If you're new here, hey, how you doing? How are ya? Make sure you smash that subscribe button, hit that bell, and also make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you don't know, September is NICU Awareness Month. And if you're not aware of what NICU is, um, it is, it's similar to the ICU in the hospital. It stands for Neonatal Intensive Care Unit. And it's basically ICU for um, babies. If you don't know, my daughter is a 28 week preemie and we spent like three months in the hospital and um being there i learned a lot like i think i learned more than i would have if she was a full-term baby if you don't know i have a video talking all about that all about our stay all about her progress but i'm so sure you see her progress when you see her in my videos and stuff you wouldn't really tell but yes she is a 28 week preemie and she progressed awesome so today i'm gonna be talking about five things that i learned during shut up five things <laughs> that I learned being a NICU mom my first thing that I learned is that you have to pray and you have to have patience there's um when I first got there like I said we were we were there like three months maybe like a little over three months we were there and it seemed so long and it, it would be times that I would be like she's ready to go home she could go home but she really wasn't and you know you just gotta stay by their side you gotta pray you gotta have patience because it's, they're gonna come home they're gonna get better they're gonna come home and you'll be like wow why didn't just wait why wasn't why was I feeling but you just gotta pray, you gotta have patience. And I think that is something, it's hard for a mom to have patience, but you know, it's something that has to be had. And I had to learn that and I grew my patience along the way. I still was kind of impatient, but I got more patient along the way. Prayer and patience are key. My second thing is every nurse does not work the same. I had, like, I'll have maybe a couple of my favorite nurses um, where I like the way they work with my daughter and stuff. And I liked how they let me help and stuff. But some nurses aren't like that. I came across nurses that didn't want me to do anything and they wanted to do everything because I guess, you know, they weren't sure. There, there are a lot of moms that don't come in as often as I did I was there literally like 24 7 so I knew everything the nurses did so some nurses that knew me would let me do certain things because they know they knew I knew how to do it but some nurses they're so invested into their job and they want things to go right that they don't really want the moms to do too much or do certain things that they know they have to do so I did come across nurses like that and it did make me a little upset so that was something I had to learn that all nurses are the same third thing is how important breast milk is I learned how really important breast milk is being that I had her 28 weeks I had to well you know your body already starts to reproduce milk when you're pregnant but being that she was a 28 weeker I had to speed up that process so as soon as I had my baby the next day I had to start pumping and this is because they really wanted me to get breast milk for her because not only you know for her to drink it and stuff but it works as like a medicine for them it's literally like medicine for them it cures so much and you can use it for so many things not only your baby you can use it for yourself for your skin breast milk has so many like benefits that i learned and i, I wouldn't have 
no idea unless I was pregnant <laughs> clearly because I had to learn it but breast milk works wonders in ways you wouldn't even know my fourth thing is is every premature baby does not progress the same like for example I had babies that probably would be around the same like 28 weeks maybe even 21 weeks that would be Kai I had babies next Kai it's not funny okay yeah so there would be t like 21 weekers 23 weekers that would be in the same room with Kai and sometimes it would look like they were doing so much better than Kai and sometimes it would look like they weren't progressing as much as Kai and sometimes I'll be like well they were just okay yesterday like what happened this day and every day being there every day is literally a challenge like you have to take it day by day because they could be great one day and then something could happen the next so that's that's something that you really have to take day by day and I had to learn that you know it would be some premature babies that have to go through way more than Kai even though they might be around the same um, gestation age which is like her being 28 weeks or them being 25 weeks or whatever they it would be babies that have to go through more or go through less and it all depends on the baby so don't measure your baby's progress by another premature baby you might see next to you or vice versa number five and I did purposely make this number five it'll seem like you're there forever but once you get discharged it'll literally just be another chapter in your book another part of your journey a distant memory another part of your story we were there a little over three months and being there it felt like I was there forever because like I said I was there 24 7 I was there every single day every single day for three months it seemed it seemed like we were never leaving when I was there it seemed like we were never leaving like time was just going so slow but once we left it was like wow we was there that long like because now it didn't feel like it so like I said before you gotta take it day by day you gotta pray you gotta have patience you gotta believe that your baby is gonna progress well you know and try to do everything that you can possibly do and pray is I'm, I keep saying pray because I did that every day every minute by her bedside I know babies that had it way worse than her her story is just one of millions premature babies are survivors my daughter is a survivor she is literally a miracle baby and any premature baby is literally, literally miracle babies. I'm going to continue to try to bring awareness to NICU and premature babies because a lot of people don't know about it. If there's a chance that I'm going to bring awareness, I'm going to bring it. So if you feel like I keep talking about how she was a premature baby or how she was in a NICU, it's only because I want people to be aware. I want people to know like you can help. There's people that donate breast milk. There's people that donate baby clothes, like premature baby clothes, um, books to the hospitals and stuff. So if you can help, help. I thank you guys for tuning into this video. I thank you for even clicking this video and making it this, making it this far if you've listened to all five of the things I've learned. Being a NICU mom. And if you are a NICU mom now or have been god bless you and your baby and your journey and be strong and i love you guys make sure you hit that like button if you like this video leave me comments um 
share this video and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video love you guys see you